Lisa with Lansky Sharpeners here and today I'm going to be talking about our controlled angle sharpening system, give you a little demonstration on how to use it, hopefully answer some questions that are out there. Um, I'm going to be working on the Deluxe system which is one of seven of kits that we offer. Uh, the Deluxe is a five stone alumina oxide system um, excluding the thousand grit ultra fine hone which is made of ceramic. Depending on how damaged your blade is, we recommend if it's pretty damaged and it really needs a lot of help, we recommend starting with that 70 grit extra coarse stone or even the 120 grit coarse stone. If the blades aren't in too bad a shape, start off with the medium, which is a 280 grit. Just something for maintenance, we recommend the 600 fine stone. And you want to finish that off with your 1,000 ceramic grit. In addition to this kit, we also have a couple other kits that contain the alumina oxide stones. We have our standard kit, which is a three stone kit. So we're going to minus these two stones. This is our standard kit. You're getting the coarse, medium, and your fine stone. In our professional kit, you're going to get three stones that come in the standard kit, in addition to your medium ceramic stone for serrations, and also your ultra fine stone, 1000 grit. Now with your universal kit, this is what comes in the universal kit. So you're getting that serrated hone, the coarse, the medium, and the fine. Now in addition to the kits that contain the alumina oxide stones, we have two diamond kits. We have a standard diamond and we also have our deluxe diamond. And the difference, the only difference between these two kits are with your deluxe diamond you're getting four hones. You're getting the extra coarse all the way down to the fine. So you're getting the extra coarse, coarse, the medium, and the fine. And then the other diamond kit would be your three stone system which is the coarse, the medium, and the fine. In all the kits the honing oil comes standard. We get a lot of questions about this. The reason why you get the honing oil and we tell you not to use it on the diamond is because it clogs the diamond. However, this is just standard in all of our kits. So please make sure you're not using the honing oil on your diamond stones. It will clog them. However, we strongly recommend using the honing oil on your natural Arkansas stones. They are a natural stone. They will crack and break if they're not lubricated. Okay, let's get started on the demonstration for you guys. First thing you want to do is take the clamp right out of that kit. What you want to do is you want that front screw right here. You want to unscrew it. Not all the way, you don't want to take the screw right out. But you got to open up the jaws of that clamp right here. And you're going to unscrew that thumb screw back here just a little bit as well. Not all the way out. And I do want to mention that the original style clamp comes in all of our kits. Um, we do offer another style clamp and it's this one right here. This actually has rubber boots just underneath the jaws of it and what that does is it's there to prevent any scratches on your blades. Also too we know a lot of our customers will place a little electrical tape just underneath here underneath the jaws or maybe some masking tape to help prevent scratches on their blade. So, okay, once you get this done, once you unscrew it, get some room in there for your blade, you're going to take your knife, the spine of the knife, you're going to put it in the blade, and what you want is about a quarter of an inch to about a half of an inch sticking out, it's extending from the nose of the clamp. Once you get that, you want to tighten it down. You want to tighten that front screw down just enough to secure that blade in place. You don't want to over torque that front screw. Where you do want to really tighten it out is, is this back screw, the thumb screw. You really want to put as much pressure on that and tighten it as much as you can and that's going to secure your knife in place. Next we want to do is we want to assemble our hone onto the rod. I'm going to start with the fine stone. Just going to touch my knife up a little bit. Again, it depends on how damaged your blade is. 
that's where you're going to want to start whatever stone the extra cores of course if you have your really extremely damaged blades or if you want to reprofile start with that extra course but I just want to touch mine up a little bit of maintenance so what you're going to do is you're going to take your hone there's a little hole here you're going to have your rod it's going to you're going to place it in like that and what you want is you want it to be exactly straight with the stone itself so in order to do that you got to lay that flat on a table and make sure that rod and that stone is completely straight and it looks pretty good so what you want to do is you want to hold that screw it in keep it in place and you're good to go Because this is a hunting knife, I'm going to go at the 25 degree angle and I'm going to use that angle for it. I'm going to put the rod in there, just like that. I'm going to start and I'm going to go upward motions. You want to do approximately 6 to maybe 10, 12 strokes per side. Try to be consistent. Try to use the whole entire length of the stone so it doesn't hollow out on you. So once you get one side done, you're going to flip it over. And you're going to do the other side. And this is where I'm going to introduce you guys the universal mount, which is pretty popular. It doesn't replace holding the clamp itself, but it does help stabilize while you sharpen. So while you're sharpening, you still have to hold it, but it just helps a lot to stabilize it. So again, I'm going to do the other side, 25 degree angle. And I'm going to do the same amount of passes as I did approximately on the other side of the blade. And that's it. I'm going to finish off with our ultra fine hone. Just get a little polish it up a little bit. Again, I'm going to select that 25 degree angle. And I'm going to do the same thing up into the blade. I'm going to flip this clamp over. I'm going to do the other side. 25 degree angle. And again, Depending on how damaged your blade is, really, is it just determines how many passes you want to go through with each individual stone. I mean, this is the end. I'm using the Thousand Ceramic. I can sit here all day and do it. And that's how you sharpen with the controlled angle sharpening system. But I do want to introduce to you our Quad Sharp. And the Quad Sharp actually complements our kits because it has the exact same angles that the clamp has in our kit. So you're getting that 17, 20, 25, and 30 degree angle. These are tungsten carbide pull-throughs. Three or four pull-throughs, good enough. It also comes with a ceramic bench stone. You can use it as a small bench stone or even for serrations in your blade. And that's it. Thank you so much. <laughs>